Russian officers send foot soldiers directly to death in Kharkiv of Ukraine. Russia's offensive near Ukraine's second largest city, Kharkiv, that began in May and worried Kyiv's Western allies, has apparently lost momentum after the Ukrainian army bolstered its forces in the area by redeploying troops from other sectors. It is a style of warfare that Russian soldiers have likened to being put into a meat grinder, with commanding officers seemingly oblivious to the fact that they are sending infantry soldiers to die, according to the New York Times. It is noted that at times, this approach has proved effective, bringing the Russian army victories in Avdiivka and Bakhmut in eastern Ukraine. But Ukrainian and Western officials say the tactics were less successful this spring as Russia tried to take land near the city of Kharkiv. But the drive did not threaten Kharkiv and was ultimately stopped by Ukrainian defenses, according to Western officials. President Putin and Moscow have really tried to make big gains to break through the front lines this spring, Jens Stoltenberg, the NATO Secretary General, said in an interview with the New York Times editorial board. They tried and they failed. They made very small gains and they are paying a very high price. Russian soldiers have said on Telegram, the social media and messaging platform, that their units are suffering high casualties. Some say their ranks are being cut down by drones, machine gun fire and artillery barrages. New York Times says that the lack of structured training and the need to commit new recruits to combat operations have limited Russia's ability to generate more capable units. It also increases casualties. But it is more complicated than that. The changing nature of modern warfare has also increased the body count in recent months. Ubiquitous drones have made it easy for both sides to spot and target enemy forces, and mines and cluster munitions make movement across open ground a nearly suicidal endeavor. Five people were killed and at least five others were injured in a collision of a train and a bus in Nov Zamki town in southern Slovakia on Thursday, officials said. The train was traveling from the Czech capital Prague to Budapest in Hungary. None of the deaths were among the train passengers. Over 100 of stranded passengers of Eurocity train are being transported by buses to the town of Sturovo on the Hungarian border. The injured were treated at hospitals in nearby towns and cities because the local one was closed after parts of it were flooded following heavy rain overnight. The Slovak railway company ZSSK sent its condolences to the families and loved ones of the bus passengers who were injured or lost in this accident, in a Facebook post. Among the five injured is the train driver, a Czech national, who had minor burns. The main railway track linking Bratislava and Budapest has been closed following the incident. Slovak Interior Minister Matis Sutai Stok is heading to the crash site, according to police, while Peter Pellegrini, the president of Slovakia, offered his condolences. I wish the injured a speedy recovery and thank the doctors and rescue teams for their work, he said. Stala sa vážna nehoda, úplne horí celý rušeň, celá prednáša z veľa...